Hey there campers, it's Barry here with Southern RV and I'm excited because we got a brand new model here on the lot today. This is a Sport Trek Touring Edition 343 VIB. This is a 2021 model, it's a bunkhouse. It weighs almost 8,700 pounds dry, but it's got a lot of cool features for a big old travel trailer. It's got three slides, and that back bunk room can be configured into a multitude of uses. So we're gonna check it out, hang in there, and we'll get right to it. Right, starting right up here at the front cap, what I want you to notice is that this is a full fiberglass molded front cap. That's an incredibly nice feature. It's very resilient and it's painted up quite nicely as well. We do have automotive grade windshield here on the cap and these cool blue LED signature lights that are great for running down the road. If we look down, we'll notice that we have an electric tongue jack and I'll push in here to the battery compartment where we see that we have a battery cutoff switch already built into the system there. This unit does have a solar panel. I'll have to give you a little drone shot for that in a bit here. And that solar panel is going to allow for uh, charging off the 12 volt battery system and keeping your 12 volt stuff up and operational, especially when boondocking. Here we see that we have a compartment door that leads to our pass-through storage. Notice everything is slam latches with magnetic catches. That goes all the way clean to the other side. We have some accessories in there as well that come with the camper. If we look up underneath, we'll notice we have a BAL landing gear. So these are stabilization jacks. They're each controlled by their own switch. So they're pretty easy to operate and they move pretty quickly as well. You can see that there's a spare tire tucked up in under here and notice that we have an enclosed underbelly. And if you look back to the back there, you'll see we're running on leaf springs. This does have the solid step entry and a nice large grab handle. If we look up, we'll notice that we have a couple of outside speakers. And I don't have the awnings out today, guys, because we've had some really high wind gusts. But I want you to notice that it does have two big electric awnings. I took a picture of them yesterday when the weather was a little better. So hopefully we can be able to insert that into the video. I'm going to tuck up in under this slide here for a couple of reasons. One, we're going to take a look at the fact that we have this nice big BAL rack and pinion system that drives our slide outs and to check out those really cool wheels that they put on this guy. Notice that we do have frameless windows. And as we push towards the back of the camper, we have our outside entertainment. This consists of our sink, we have a dual burner stove, and a refrigerator out here as well. This unit is equipped with a ladder that leads up to a fully walkable roof. It is pre-wired for a backup camera. And if we look down low, we'll notice that we have a two inch receiver hitch here. Now that's not actually for tandem towing. That's there to take a basket or a bike rack, something along those lines. It's rated at about 250 pounds. We have our outside shower and water in, as well as our shoreline connect. Again, this unit has three slides, so notice on this side we've got two more. All of your sewage points are forward of the axles. They sit right here. That's where you're going to connect and disconnect. And you can see the little pull handle there on the frame. 
It's the back side of our water heater. We have storage that leads up under the bed and access to the pass-through storage from this side. Let's hop up inside the vehicle and take a look at the floor plan from the inside. All right, so the first thing that we notice as we come up through the door is that we hit our control panel here in the hallway. This is a really nice control panel. It lets you slide through options in terms of what you want to open and close, and you have direct access to lights, water pumps, and things of that nature. The second panel up above is our Go Power solar panel that lets us know what's going on with our battery system and that it's being charged by our solar panel. This is a bunkhouse, so the main living and kitchen space is going to be slightly more condensed just due to the fact that we have that back room back there. But I really love all of the paneling and the contrasting dark and light woods. Notice that we have solid surface countertops as well. Our kitchen, which is lovely and well equipped by Venture, has our Furion uh, that's a 12 volt refrigerator. We got a Furion microwave. This really cool looking backsplash here. I'll zoom in on it. It's kind of wooden metal looking. That's behind our three burner stove and it's got the glass top to extend your countertop with our oven down below. There's plenty of storage all around that and built into this back wall here. And Venture's even given us this cool cutting slash charcuterie board that's hung up on the wall here as well. There is a bit of a pantry in the sense that here in this space we have adjustable shelving and it's fairly deep. The kitchen island has a nice big single basin stainless steel sink as well as plenty of drawers and space for storage down beneath. In the slide in this room we have storage in the form of overhead cabinetry. This is a tri-fold sofa and our booth dinette will both let down into a bed. I'll show, put a picture of that in here now so that you can see what it looks like with it all out. Directly across from our TV, or from our sofa, is our TV. So we have our entertainment center. It's got a nice big connects flat screen TV and down low we have an electric fireplace. There's some storage in behind it and the head unit for our DVD CD player. And that's also Bluetooth capable. As we push up towards the front, one thing real quick, I just noticed that these have these great accent walls in here. It really sets it apart from some of the other campers in the lot. In the hallway, we have this door, which is gonna lead into our bathroom. Bathroom consists of stainless steel basin sink, a medicine cabinet, and then we have a nice large shower with a skylight above. And of course, we have our foot flush toilet here in the corner. There is a little bit more storage here in the bathroom in the form of these cabinets that are up on the wall above the toilet. Pushing to the front of the camper, we hit our main bedroom. It's a very spacious bedroom. We've got some overhead storage in the form of cabinetry up here above our bed. Nice little window in behind it. We've got his and her closets on either side of this great little seated area with a window looking towards the front of the vehicle. Some shelving and storage up above. At the foot of the bed, we'll find that we have a nice little chest of drawers with some extra storage there, as well as yet another electric fireplace. Now those do put out heat, so they're great for 
adding on to your furnace heat in really cold winters. Notice that we do have spots up here to hook up a TV should you deem that necessary. Directly behind me in this corner of the room, we have some extra storage by the bed here. I'm going to open it up because what's neat about this is that it could be another hanging closet as you can see from the rod up top, but we've also got washer dryer hookups. That means we can put a combo washer dryer unit into that space. Now there is also storage up under the bed. It's on a strut, so it simply lifts up. And as you can see, there's a fair amount of it down there in the form of a big box, which is pretty slick. Good amount of space and storage in this particular unit. Lots of great windows as well. Now for this back room. Let's check this out and I'm going to quickly put down the camera and get it set up on a tripod so that we can go through the paces here and really take a look at what's going on. The first setup we'll look at in this room is as we walked up on it. So what right now we have both of the right side bunk beds in the up position. Notice that they do have these nice solid rail systems here and on both sides they have these plugs that keep it up and in place. Now with both of those up we still have access to the two bunks that are on the left so sleeping two in here is still fine and when we look down at the floor what we notice is that we have quite a bit of floor space. Now I haven't busted out the tape measure but I can think of a few things that come to mind when I see this much floor space in a room. I can think of a pack and play that might be pretty cool for a small child. Maybe dog crates if you have dogs that you travel with or even storing outdoor goods and supplies like bikes and things of that nature. You could probably sit them right there and just have something on the floor because after all there's no slide that comes in and out here. Let's go ahead and set this up as a desk. So the next mode we're going to look at is setting this up as a desk. The first thing we're going to do is pull our pen latches here from each side. Lower that out. It's on a nice big piano hinge in the back. And it gives us this flat workspace. Now, they've also gone and provided us a folding chair. This folds up nice and flat. You can see it's very skinny. That way it can store away pretty easily and hide. But once we open that up, we can sit down. Notice my legs slide up under here just fine. It's a nice wide working space. And we've even got USB ports right here at our fingertips. Pretty cool and a great way to spread out, do some crafts, maybe get on the computer for a little bit and do some work. Let's check out the next mode. Going from the desk mode to four bunks is actually pretty quick and easy too. Over on this side, we currently just have our extra mattresses stacked up. So I'm just going to grab one and slide it over. As you can see, it fits snugly into that space. And then I'm going to drop the pins here. And now we have four individual bunks that are available. Great for kids, great for visiting friends. This is a cool setup for a large family. So the final setup is going to be to have these two bunks up high and then a large bed down low. If we notice when these are down, we have this rail that runs here and it's got a lip to it. And they've provided us with these slats as well. They're nice and thick, pretty solid wood. And then we have this on the other end as well. So we're just going to simply drop these into place like you see there. And there's four of them. And finally, we're going to pull out that last mattress and shore it all up. So we end up with one giant bed.
Well, folks, I hope you really enjoyed this tour of this 2021 Venture Sport Track Touring Edition 343 VIB. It's a super cool bunkhouse trailer, as you've seen as we've wandered around it. It's got lots of great features, but hey, don't take it for granted. Come see it for yourself here at Southern RV. We're at 324 Industrial Boulevard in McDonough, Georgia, right off of I-75, just south of Atlanta. You can visit us online at southernrv.com or give us a call at 770-477-0552. Until next time, happy RVing.